So guys, welcome back to another episode. And on this episode, we're going to be talking about something that's right down my alley. It's niche, it's not accessible to all, and not everybody will want this. So the title of the video obviously says the 300 pound foam cannon. So people will be losing their minds going, what is he going to be now showing us? So when we first started our research on the cannons many years ago, our initial trial, PF22.2 had to come from the States. So the total cost of a cannon like this, including shipping, etc., taxes, was around 150 pounds, just a little bit over that. So obviously this is how we do things. We have to buy things retail and we test these things and see what happens with them, whether we take them or not. Now there's a guy and a company, which he also operates and owns, across the pond from us in Florida called Obsessed Garage. Now, I'm sure a lot of you people have heard about this company. Um, we get mentioned sometimes hand in hand together for some reasons unbeknown to me. Now, like Matt says, now, by the way, with Matt, I love that guy. I don't usually gravitate towards many people, but he is one of the handful I can count them on my hands. One of the handful of people that I can actually genuinely gravitate towards. Now with him, a little bit like myself, I like to go for the most premium, the best things, uh, just to offer you, whatever the cost, the best thing in terms of everything related towards your car care journeys. So he released a quick, a quick connect kit. He had these machines, so out of aluminium, aluminum like the Americans say so out of aluminium and anodized so it's a quick connect kit so as soon as I saw this I thought right, I'm having this I'm gonna buy it now in his words and I also agree with him he always says honoring the source so again I've got his t-shirt on I've got his it was one of his new caps t-shirt cap um, I've got other things from him anyway as you know I've got his tie dressing which I love as well I'm honoring the source. Um, in the video description, I'm gonna link down the product that I'm about to show you, how it works, how it's installed. This has just been pulled out the pack, haven't used it. You know, um, it should be fairly easy to uh, operate. But again, honoring the source, it's come from him. If you are interested in what I'm about to show you, go and buy from him. The shipping's not that much, the import taxes are not much. Now, the whole kit to us, this, Cost is 150 pound, again, a little bit over maybe. Uh, so this is where the 300 pound comes into it. 150 for the original Canon and 150 for this kit here. So the total cost of this, very special now, foam Canon is gonna be over 300 pounds. So I think it's gonna make the function amazing and the purpose of the Canon just that much easier. So I'm gonna take you in and I'm gonna show you. So with the PF22, as you know, I always recommend to thread the bottle rather than the top because inside here, you've got metal threads and here, obviously, you've got the plastic thread. So if you're not careful, you can cross thread. So this is where Matt has come in and actually made something easier, like with the guns or anything with pressure washing. It's easier just for the quick connect rather than having to unscrew and screw. So as per his recommendation, I am going to put just a couple of rolls of uh, PTFE tape. And this will, it's not really helping for any reason of, as he says, water tightness or anything like that. It's more for the reason of keeping the actual female coupler onto the bottle a little bit better. So I'm just going to probably do three rolls. So one, two, three, in fact. Going to do a fourth one just for good measure. So that is four. So now this has been PTA feed onto the bottle threads. Now I'm going to keep this bit towards the side. Um, so what we're going to do first is I'm going to just going to screw this on, and it goes on just like that. So here's the first part. It took me all of a few seconds to actually sort this out. So now this is the quick connect that goes onto the actual foam and head itself. So again, I'm going to PTFE this. Nothing like I would do on our Krenzlers or onto the MTM guns. 
because it might be a bit too thick at that point. So I'm probably going to do three or four wraps of PTFE once again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it through the dip tube itself like this and into the metal threads of the actual PF22 head itself. Now we did talk this down, but I think hand tightness, I think boom, look at that. So that's how it would look. So it goes into the bottom. Now, this is the beauty. So him and his friend, uh, Rusty, if I believe, that was his name. They had to, obviously, you've got to be careful. This is their V1. It's not going to be perfect, like he admits. And there's going to be probably various versions of this eventually come out. So they've had to actually make the hole itself big enough to where you can still fill it up. Luckily, our foam nozzles that you can dispense the foam with actually super thin anyway, so that's going to fit in there. Like he says, he likes to sometimes put his finger in and give the solution a mix. And obviously, it has to be big enough to put the actual tube in. Now, this is going to be the beauty of it. Look at that. That is sick. So, you d this is interesting. I watched his video on this. Now, um, I thought, mm, let's have a look, you know, at how he kind of shows it. However, now that I've seen it, it's, I do understand what he means. So what he says, it doesn't have to pull or disturb the cannon in any way. So on the release of the cannon, look, I'm doing a one-handed, so there. And on the lock of the cannon, lock. So the whole purpose of this is saving the threads onto the cannon. It's also very easy to cross-thread them. Obviously, metal and plastic never works. Uh, I'm sure MTM will eventually, when they release the PF23 at some point, will assess a few of these issues, but it's just so easy to fill. For example, you want to go and cover your car in a wash solution, click, fill, back in. What's that? Five seconds, okay? Now, I saved you a little special bit at the end. Now, the whole finger shaking tip I don't really like because my fingers get wet. Now, he's done this cap, okay? Look at that. Oh, it's like with the ammo video I did. It just gets the inner geek in me. I'm so happy. <laughs> so, again, this is the same thing with like with the foam cannon. You just, you push. Now, one again, you can use this for the storage element of it. Or, once you get a solution, obviously I will wash so the yum wash is on the thicker side as well. So you've got to be careful to give it a good mix because you don't want all the product at the bottom to get sucked up first. So with this cap, you can lock it up and give it the biggest shake, make sure the solution is all there. And just, oh, it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So it is tall as you can see, however, as you, when you still put it down, it's still stable. The, the bottle is empty now. When you increase the height, you know, the counter effect also gets increased. But look, that ain't falling. I mean, obviously, I can put it down if I want to, but it's, it's nice and stable. Now, I love this. Is it worth the $125 that it costs, plus the shipping and... Her Majesty the Queen's import tax. One simple answer, yes. Uh, I'd, I love it. It's, do you need it? No. Do you have to have it? Yes. Uh, <laughs> it's just, yeah, it's really nice. Uh, I love it. I just like, again, it's all about the function. The guns save you a bit of time you know with the quick disconnect system same thing with the foam cannons and now with this now if you are a professional these little seconds added up save you time again i'm not really doing this for the professional of saving time but if you just want the best foam cannon in the world with the first prototype obviously the one off the minute this is the only fitment if you want to take it off camera off you want to put it on 
fantastic. So I'm more than happy with this. Again, I'm honoring the source, loving the t-shirts. It's, it's cool. This hat, even though I've got a big potato head, the hat is nice. Um, I like to support Matt. He doesn't need my support, clearly. However, I just, yeah, he, he's a guy that I gravitate towards for very many reasons, but um, the, our mentality is similar. Um, work ethic's also similar. So I'm gonna link this, like I said, in the description below. Please, if you wanna buy it, just buy it, it's worth it. Now, these are handmade to order and um, limited number batches. So if he's out of stock, he'll most likely get them in stock as and when he's ready. But so if you've enjoyed this video, please let me know down in the comments below what you think of this kit. Personally, I think it's cool. It's just amazing. And it just makes life easier. That's the whole thing. Car care has become to a place now where you start going into more niche and niche things and it, I think it just really helps you out really. Uh, so let me know in the comments. Again, the link for this specific kit is gonna be in, in the description always and just go and help out another guy who is, I think at the top of his game. So as soon as we're allowed to fly again in the UK anyway, without any restrictions, I think a trip to Florida, then to Canada. So that's pan the organizer and then on the way back down, we'll probably hit New York too to go and see Ammo. So it's going to be the trio of the very best of American and Canadians. But oh, anyway, guys, hope you've enjoyed it. I think this is super cool. And stay tuned for maybe some sort of washing video that this is going to be the first time where it's used. Take care, guys. Have a great day.